Why Take Ye Thought, Redeeming the Time Brothers podcast, a podcast by Gene Kissinger and Norman Kissinger, two brothers who spent their lives in ministry and raising large families. Our desire is to provide a digital place for those who long belong. And as always, we want to leave a nightlight on for you. That nightlight is out of the Sermon on the Mount, Jesus speaking about the foolishness of worry. And why take ye thought for raiment? Consider the lilies of the field, how they grow. They toil not, neither do they spin. And yet I say unto you that even Solomon in all of his glory was not arrayed like one of these. If God so clothed the grass of the field, which today is and tomorrow is cast into the oven, shall he not much more clothe you, O ye of little faith? Therefore take no thought, saying, What shall we eat, or what shall we drink, or wherewithal shall we be clothed? Uh, <laughs> Paul Chapel great devotional writer of the Independent Baptist. He talks about Thomas Carlyle, who is called the Sage of Chelsea. He was a leading light in the English literary community. He was a historian, essayist, poet, uh, a brilliant writer. He, uh, though, loved to really have silence to work in, and he built a soundproof room onto his house to block out the noise of the city that was around it. But there was one noise that always pierced even the soundproof room. It was the, the crowing of a rooster that his neighbor had. And it, one day, Carlisle goes to complain to the neighbor about this crowing rooster. And the neighbor said, well, he only crows two or maybe three times. And Carlisle said this. He said, if you only knew what I suffer waiting for that cock to crow. Uh, a lot of our suffering is anticipatory suffering is when we're anxious about an event or worried about an event that's possibly going to take place, and we end up, uh, as the Chinese had a saying, the, the brave man dies one death, but the coward dies a thousand deaths because he's always anticipating this bad thing that he is supposes is going to happen. Now, Jesus will say in this passage that sufficient unto the day is the evil thereof. In other words, we've got enough trouble in each day. We don't need to be borrowing possible trouble from tomorrow. And so maybe it's best to live in each moment and have courage and strength. The Norman's here with me and is very glad to have him here. I'm going to have him close us in a word of prayer. Go ahead, Norm. Lord, I thank you so much for all that you do. I thank you, God, that you are our provider. And we don't have to worry about the future because, Lord, you're there. You're already there. Uh, you um, take care of everything when we just learn to rest and trust in you, which is sometimes for many times in our lives maybe a lifelong process that we've had to learn. But, Lord, you are always good. And so help everybody that, Lord, uh, listens today uh, to know, dear God, that the only thing we have to do is obey you and take care of the now and that, Lord, you're already taking care of the future. So help us to hear your voice and live one day at a time and therefore not worry about the future because, Lord, you have it in control. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. God bless you. You have a great night. I love you, but Jesus loves you so much more.